welcome to this episode of the vlog where I don't have facial hair anymore. I want to say something to everybody. There's a common thing about Japan's trains being on time. Um, everybody evacuating this train. There's proof that the statement that Japan's trains were always on time is no longer the case. I swear to God, for the entirety of this year, for the entirety of 2024, I've dealt with just consistently trains being delayed on a daily basis. And I honestly think it's due to a number of outlying issues, be it the fewer trains resulting in bigger crowds causing the trains to be delayed, to staffing issues, to all sorts of other problems. But yeah, no, trains in Japan are no longer on time anymore. I am starting this vlog off by making a statement. So if you're some sort of influencer on the Instagrams that's trying to get a few easy clicks talking about Japan and some quirky thing about this country, get your facts straight because the trains are never on time anymore. <sighs> swear to God, okay, the train I was riding, it started off being what? Eight minutes delayed leaving my home and it is now like 45 minutes delayed. So I switched to the Yamanote line, which I'm not really a big fan of. Does that look like the motion of a train that's on time? No, it does not. So Grandma Kitty's there and a Tomcat, I believe is here, and I've never seen him out in the daylight before. Yeah, he's definitely on guard here. I always see him at night, but not so frequently. So are you Grandma Kitty's husband? Are you, his, are you her son? I don't know. You are cute though, looking at you. That bomb went off, and that scared the cat too. <laughs> Hello there. This thing goes off at six automatically. It's actually mechanically operated. And uh, see, she's unfazed by it. <laughs> All right. Submitted all my paperwork for my visa renewal. <sighs> this is becoming sort of a tradition for me to go to this place after I drop off my paperwork. I'm going, so I'm in uh, Kawasaki right now, but I'm a few stations away from where I used to work in Jigaoka. There's a restaurant up there that I really like. I'm all the way up to work because it's on the way. Why not? <laughs> Let's go up there. Wow, what the hell? This building's gone. Oh my god, I haven't been over here in ages. I didn't realize that was an SNBC branch over there and they also fully rebranded that to a Wendy's. So, yep. Well, I'm not here to look at places I used to walk around when I was, in, you know, working out of college here. I'm here to get some good food. Oh, that's a that's a downgrade. That used to be a Carl's Jr. There's a uh, Kitamura camera over here. This place has gotten a little bit different. Well, they put an Eon Mall, that's why. Uh, I don't really hang over here, like, at all. Like, it's been over a year since I've been here. I looked at the map, the Google Sensei, and I'm a little bit worried that the place I used to eat at is gone. It's a sad day. Bear Burger is no longer in Japan. It's been replaced by this weird ass bagel shop. <sighs> Damn it. Damn it, that is sad. I gotta inform my friend. I didn't have to come over here then, did I? Damn it. Uh, it's always the same. It's like the restaurants I grow to love in this country end up just going away. Damn it. I don't know what to eat now. <laughs> I'm already over here. What's inside of this weird ass place over here, the Aeon Mall? What do we got? 
Okay, this doesn't sound like anything I should be eating. We eat wheat. I gotta text my friend I used to work with. <laughs> okay, their, their, their Twitter feed said they closed in 2022. Not the Twitter feed, sorry, their Instagram feed. What, where did I eat last year? Or did I just not eat at all after I dropped off my, maybe it's because I had to go to the gym or I went, I don't know. Damn it, I've been gone for two years, I guess. I didn't eat there for two years and now they're gone. Sorry, Bear Burger. <laughs> Your number one client has neglected you. I found another place that I thought I could get a nice burger at, but uh, they're closed today. I'll come here tomorrow. Damn, where am I gonna get some lunch? This guy in the car right here is uh, smoking a pipe too. Uh, I'm still not sure what to eat. A few other places I knew down here are open, but there's a long wait. I just want to get something to eat and go back to my office. Okay, I'm gonna get some curry. It's a day ending in Y. It means I give Grandma Kitty the attention that she so rightfully deserves. As a kitty cat. As a cute kitty cat, that is. What sort of adventure are you on today? <laughs> Something you want to. You're going to pop that tire, that's what you're going to do. <laughs> oh, you're cute. This is the closest one of Grandma Kitty's daughters has let me get to her so far. Nope, never mind. <laughs> She's like, yeah, you, you've had enough. Happy 30th birthday. Happy 30th birthday now. Happy 30th birthday now. Happy 30th birthday now. I got my emperor shirt on. Hey everybody! Yes. Say hi! Look at this chin! Look at this chin! Clean chin! Finally shaved it. Showed everybody his nose hair right there. Shave that! Shave that! Shave this too. I am not shaving my head. <laughs> wow, that I'm might sorry. be darker than my I'm joke. Sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Oh my God, was no. That too much? Was that too much? So that's Matt, by the way. He looks like James the Bree. I have no idea who that is. Singer of Dream Theater. Okay. Still don't know the band. There's Ice. Or do I call you Derek now? No, I don't have the mustache. <laughs> I came back from shoots, I'm like, shoot. Oh look, I shaved too, so that, that could be the motif. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at this. Look at this, there's no chin fluff. It's gone. <laughs> this, is, this is the best birthday present anyone can get me. He's got no chin fluff. Um, we also, I know a few of you have met her. We had a very special international guest come out tonight. Unfortunately, Jess's mum has left already. <laughs> I know, I know. But uh, no, honestly, if you haven't met my mum, yeah. oh god, sorry about that. Happy, oh happy birthday! Eyes. Is that a video? My fucking it's a video, yeah. Of course, it's a video because the fucking light went off. Happy uh, birthday! Thank you, sir. Thanks. How does it feel to be officially in, the, in your 20s? I feel 40. I feel 40. To be a Christian? What? 20s. This is still technically my 20s. Yeah. I turned the light off now. Uh, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. You're so merciful. Hi, Diane. I have to squat down. You can grab one of the first pieces of cake. Okay. 
Hello. Hey, Alex. Hey. Happy birthday, Matt. Hi, hey, Steven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get with my friends. Friends here forever. If you wanna be my lover, you have got to get. Take it is too easy, but that's the way it is. Only think about that. Now you know how I feel. Morning. Well, I'll tell you, oh, this got flattened. Um, I have another can, but I bought this instead of being given it by uh, Adam. Um, I dropped it as well. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, there's some. Yeah. It's Oshinoko. It is some sort of strawberry flavored, sugar free nonsense. What? What flavor does it? What, what flavor does it? Yeah, honestly, anything merch related from Oshinoko is kind of uh, ironic given the nature of the program itself. But is it going to explode on me? It is not, even though I dropped it. All right, well, let's see how it tastes. It already smells horrible. Oh God! Oh, oh! No! Oh my God! <laughs> that was horrible. I'm never drinking that again. It is not even joining the stack of cans. This is going right to the freaking trash. Oh God! See that can of ghost right there? Whenever I fly back to Japan, I always put a few in my check bag. And I savor it because, like, why can't we get that in Japan? This stuff is just, I can't grab it. It's too far up on my stack. It, it this, this is just an abomination, an ironic abomination of nonsense. Well, how does Grandma Kitty look? I'm trying out a different mode that I know this camera has with uh, autofocus detection. I've got the aperture all the way open at f2. She doesn't really seem to uh, care that much, but it's focusing right on her eye, the autofocus. And now she's walking into the light <laughs> where it is very bright for Grandma Kitty. Yep. That's Grandma Kitty. What's up, Grandma? <laughs> morning. <laughs> well, not morning, it's like four in the afternoon. Just with the Starbucks, got one of these. So, uh, this guy here, <laughs> the one thing I got dangling off my neck. <laughs> A ZF. I've been testing a couple different uh, settings. You know, when you uh, get a camera like this, you have to really deep dig into the settings to or dig deep into the settings to figure out what it can do for you. Mm -hmm. So uh, I used a couple of different features to do some uh, photos of Grandma Kitty, as you saw in the previous clip. I mean, it's still I'm still learning this camera. It's a tough camera, and it's a lot of fun. Though. That's the thing. It's a it's just fun, but very much a learning curve. So if you're looking for a professional camera, this is a uh, camera that you might want to be interested in because, you know, you're going to be uh, learning a lot as you go along. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm actually really freaking tired today.
vlog, and this is actually the last vlog that I'm going to have up before I fly back to the States on uh, Saturday. Friday night, I'm actually going to see Finn Troll here in, in a concert in uh, Japan. And then when I get to America, I'll, like the last time in America, I'll be seeing uh, 1349, which is a Norwegian black metal band that I really like. So I'm kind of bookending this trip with metal shows. The metal show I'm seeing for Finn Troll is Ichimayam, which is like 75 bucks with the exchange rate today. Um, I saw Finn Troll on a VIP ticket back in Arizona for 50 bucks in 2011. A VIP ticket now, that would probably be 75 bucks when I think about it. <laughs> but I'm seeing uh, 1349, which is a you know, really good metal band, well-known, well-respected band. Um, I'm seeing them for 25 bucks in Chevy, Ohio. I know. I heard an airplane. Where is it? It's up there somewhere. I don't see it. Oh well. Sorry about that. Autofocus is working pretty well, yay. Anyway, so, but all my vlogs and stuff that I film in America, I'll be filming those in 4K and I'll also try to film them more with this camera, the ZF. So, I'll see how it goes. Alright, well, stay tuned for the flight vlog. Alright, see you next week.